everyone. Uh, as you know, I'm Marina and this is Stuart. Yeah, hello. Um, we thought it was about time to show you the boat. So we'll give you a little tour and talk a bit about the boat. Um, yeah, welcome to our home. Waze Goose Warrior is a, it's a Trident Warrior. It's only one foot, long keel, sloop rig boat. Not many of them were made, released 1980, I do believe. And yeah, we've literally only ever seen one afloat. Yeah, it was this uh, last summer in Plymouth, and that's the only one we've seen so far. So if you've got a Trident Warrior 31 foot, just drop a comment down there. So as you know, she's long keel. So you've got transom hung rudder, 31 foot long, uh, hydraulic steering, shaft driven, uh, with a Yanmar that was re-engined in 99, so 38 horsepower Yanmar, uh, centre cockpit, aft cabin, but no walkthrough, I've got a little suicide door out the back. Since buying the boat, we pulled her out of the water, uh, gave her a lick of anti-foul. It had no propeller. <laughs> but it didn't. It didn't have no propeller. It was missing one blade on the propeller. So put a new propeller on, and yeah, just try to get her a little bit up to a sort of seaworthy state. Replace most of the sea cocks uh, for the plastic ones. And what else have we done? Rewired it, replumbed it, uh, sort of engine out a little bit. The engine was working sweet, apart from little bits. So we dropped the fuel tank. We done all the fuel lines. Serviced it a few times. And what else have we done? Added pressurised water just the other day. Uh, no hot water yet, that's still in the making. What else? Done most of the cushions. Put a few windows. Yeah, replaced the forward hatch. Uh, got rid of the Durant vent and put a little hatch here to give a bit more light in the saloon. So yeah, let's get down to it and let's show you around. Come with me. <laughs> well, this is the bay berth. Um, it's a bit small, but we both fit in here. It's not bad. We've got all our clothes here on the sides. Um, we've got our guitar, which I found in the bin. <laughs> and the ukulele, which I got this summer. Um, underneath the mattress there's a lot of uh, storage, we've got stuff that we don't use very often, like camping gears and stuff like that. Uh, we've got all the sails, spare sails, and we've got an empty locker just here on the front, which we're gonna use to put um, a flexi water tank. That's like, yeah, we don't know when we will be doing that. We've got plans for this locker, Stuart wants to have two anchors on the front, so we'll probably do like a little division here so we can, with fiberglass or something, so we can have both chains coming into here. Let me show you the heads. There we go. Welcome to the heads, also known as the shower lip. <laughs> because uh, it's where you shower and your toilet. <laughs> we've got a little sink um, with pressurized water that we've just installed. Um, when you open the tap, water comes up. <laughs> uh, this is actually like a shower head, so you can pull it out and have a shower. But because we don't have hot water at the moment, we are using this little camping shower. So we put some boiling water and cold water and you can have a nice warm shower. Um, here I'm sitting on the little Jabsco toilet. toilet. Um, it used to be um, Levac, that's how it was called. Um, but yeah, we installed the Jabsco, which is much easier to use. Um, here behind me we've got some storage. Here's when we, where we keep all our toiletries and stuff. And this one here. Um, yeah, that's it. We've got a little mirror here, which is the only mirror we've got <laughs> in the boat. And that's it. Now we're in the saloon. Yeah, we've got a little fold down table. Two single berths here. Loads of storage underneath. Uh, food, life jackets, other bits in there. We knocked the bottom out of one of these lockers so we could hang our coats up. 
Uh, this side we have behind here the 240 section, uh, MPPT controller and course computer in here. The flux gate compass is behind the toilet. Uh, stereo obviously, barometer, uh, battery monitor, MPPT controller, heater panel, heat control panel for the uh, for a little diesel heater. Uh, here's the nav table. Over here we've got nav table, TV, the broken nav text which normally sits here, the back of the instruments, uh, bookshelf. This is the electrics panel which was over there and some steps came down but we didn't like, I just felt it was a waste of space so got rid of all of that, got a box done, Marina found these baskets that fit in neatly for the food, uh, moved all the electrics over there and then on the other side of the boat, hold on, <laughs> um, so this is the galley, the drop box here which I installed the uh, Waco compressor and evaporation plate. Uh, little sink there with the little cover, kettle and obviously the coffee pot which is pretty essential. Under here we've got the little gimbal cooker, food, plates, cutlery, all behind there. It's a little bit stiff. And that's about it under pilot guides. So I don't really like the re uh, Reed's Almanac, so I get the pilot guides instead. Uh, here, more literature, the cards, little horse. <laughs> uh, so the horse kind of, you know, hangs out. Uh, charts in there, a the little gimbal, paraffin heater, a car. <laughs> uh, don't, uh, uh, my mum made this for us, a little, little man with a bubble hat. Kiwi, pirate flag, and a fishing rod. Yeah, it got done in Weymouth. Yeah, like, uh, by Portland. Uh, me and a mate were wandering around whilst Marina was walking, and we, uh, yeah, 10 quid. Uh, so that's pretty good, got a little fan. Yeah, a few little jobs to do in here. collection of places we've been. Uh, this is yes, Cornwall, Cornwall. Card from Marina. Marina got this for one Christmas. One of my favourites, the uh, the shipping forecast. One of my first compositions. <laughs> Marina's composition. This is Betty. Can you see that? Yeah. Betty uh, was the original owner. We found it in the nav table so she looks after us. Uh, it's a little sign that I printed out, testing out the printer. Uh, it says what a waste goose is. And what is a waste goose? It's an annual PU for people in the printing industry. And Betty's husband, Dave, Dave or Malcolm, Dave, uh, was uh, they were printers. Yeah, you know, based down Fairham. Uh, yeah, again, Portsmouth way. Uh, so that's what uh, that's where the name got it. That's where the boat got its name from. My favorite sticker in the boat. There you go, cabron. <laughs> uh, this is us coming into France, first time we crossed the channel. Uh, this was Dieppe. Uh, yeah, it's my little collection of paper aeroplanes. Hello. Hey, you all right? <laughs> Here we are, this is the half cabin. Tool shed. Um, storage, we've got a little sewing machine down there and a bag of tools and the like. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a single, it's got a little sort of trotter box down there and the exhaust for the heater. We put these little windows in. Well, pass me the camera you can show. Oh, yeah, hold on, I'll give it a little grand tour. There's the little windows. There is a single under here. There's a little hot water heater. Is a cushion that I need to finish. Luckily, we have some uh, some material. It's all that grey. I just bought a roll because I thought it would be easier. Uh, that second furling that I'd like to add is there. Uh, just 
doing some polishing at the moment. But I've still got to polish that. And there's, there's my little bow sprit that I want to add. Found a little fabricator today. So yeah, hopefully that will be a nice little single. Just in case we ever have a, you know, someone over. <laughs> this is the outside of the boat. Here's our water barrels. The, this is a windlass under here. This is current roller furling, which we'll keep. And we're gonna add a little bow sprit to the front to have a, so we can run a, both a jib and a genoa. Uh, this is one of the little hatches we replace. Trying to replace everything for old style, so it all sort of marries up. And yeah, some mast, the rigging. Yeah, just added this, uh, so the second reef, you've just, uh, it's one line, all the way back to the cockpit. We've just got some new dodgers. The spray hood, don't look at the spray hood. <laughs> um, yeah, if you come into the cockpit, you'll see the rigging set up. Oh. Yeah. This is just what came with the boat. We've got loads of winches. Someone gave us some ja a load of jammers. So what we've got here, just all the rigging stuff, the depth sounder, and the autopilot, and the sat nav. Got a stabby knife just in case things get rough. <laughs> and this a uh, steering wheel, compass under here. Uh, Change the the uh, main sheet because it was three ropes which I didn't like now it's just one and we've got catch anchor at the back the barbecue all our fenders hanging on the back and the self steering that, uh, that I made the boat came with some of it but uh, yeah not all of it the dinghy engine the dad boy the life raft cockpit cover that yeah, again, I inherited from somebody that needs, needs a bit of work. And so the panel got given a wind turbine, which has been an absolute godsend. And we replaced the backstay, so you can tension it, so I put a rope. Yeah, you've got the big sheet of here. Which are nice, because they, they sound a bit squeaky. self-tailors which is handy and then we've got the diddy little ones there for the spinnaker sheets that's about it really this is it got a hundred and one little screw holes to fill but yeah, it's really hard to marry up the color gel coat but I'm cold so I'm going inside I uh, hope you enjoyed the tour of the little bow our tiny home uh, no real plans at the moment try and get somewhere warm ideally um, yeah, just enjoy the trip. That's what it's about. Well, if you stick with us uh, till the end, thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Cut! Cut.